Hello everyone, um, this is going to be a different type of video. Um, I've been doing air stuff for a while, but we're changing it up a bit. I screwed up my car, so I need to get, get this fixed. So what I'll have to do is that I have to fix this door handle. Ford, I like Ford, but however they made this car's door handle cheap for shit. So what you'll need to get is a... I think it's a TR20. Yep, TR20 type bit to unscrew this. I think there's about four, four items that are needing to be taken out. And I, I, I'm kind of used to this because I used to take my door panel off my blazer all the time. So I was told you have to take this off. In. And it looks like plastic has broke. Man, that's so cheap. Cheaper than cheap. It's sad. That's off. Oh, cool. It's a bolt. Of course, there's going to be a bolt. All right, take two. Now I've got to find the right one. I think it's a nine millimeter. No, nope, it's gonna be seven. I'd like to say thank you for sponsoring this dad for all the tools for my moving away. Really helpful. I've been using this kit every, almost every chance I get. So this is the handle, and it's broke. It's supposed to pull that. So I have to replace it with the new one. Oh, I think you need to get your seven millimeter. No, nope. it's gonna be eight millimeter. They don't, want, they don't like to keep it consistent. Oh, before. I always recommend doing before you take it apart take pictures of everything make sure that you put it back in place but anyways what I was saying is every time when I try to fix my vehicle I always tell myself man I really need to tell myself to record it because every time when I don't I forget to record it or I'm gonna do it but I always forget Yep. 
so cheap. It's so cheaply made. And it's not even funny. Because they're putting a lot on these vehicles. And yet they're like, hey, let's make the door handle plastic. The main, like a primary, primary thing that's being used almost every single day. Building on that. Oh, that would suck if I, as soon as I put it in, it freaking breaks. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. The new wrap. Mm. Yeah, I don't just need to. Oh yeah, that's cool. Alright, awesome. Now, to probably do a time lapse back to it, um, put everything back together, just to make sure it's uh, okay. not too tight and I want to strip it. Now the fun part is putting everything back. <clears throat> so when I'm editing this, all you need is a wrench, socket wrench set. And what you'll need is a seven millimeter, eight millimeter. And then for the screw set, you'll need a TR20 to take out the screws. Um, Which is fun. Alright. So again, here's the old one. Um, on the back, I guess. So when I got to work, or got back to do some personal things, I had to get into my vehicle to air up the tires and gas, and fill up the tank. And so I went to our local gas station, and I opened it, and usually when I open, the um, the lock system opens with it too, but I guess when I open it just right, it it caught, and I just broke it right in two, so, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't get out my, my driver's side, so I was a little bit mad, plus a little bit, and so yeah, if I can do it, anyone can do it for this to be fixed, because I'm decent at this, I have been taught by my grandfather and my dad on a lot of this. And finally doing a YouTube video about it, so I hope they're, they get to see it. Um, yeah, put all your stuff back into where it needs to go, and you're good to go.